Okay, today's November 10th, 2023. Huge turning point for MetaZoo. As you can see with this announcement at 10:15 a.m. November 20 or sorry, November 10th, 2023, the MetaZoo Manga Chapter 1, Part 1 and 2 is now available for free on Webtoons. Chapter 2 releases next Friday. So let's click click the link and see what happens. Okay, so we're on Webtoons. So Shattering the Veil Part 1, Part 2, so obviously we'll do Part 1 first. And this is my very first look at this, so I'm going to read the story and give a little commentary while I read the story. Just based on what I see, what I think I know, all that good stuff. Story by Michael Waddell. Art by Rock Alves. Very nice. Okay, so Chapter 1, Shattering of the Veil. At 3.01 a.m., November 15th, 1966, a dark figure emerged from the forests of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Hey, that's where they have the Mothman Festival. Makes sense. So this must be the first sighting of Injured Cold. They didn't mention his name. It's kind of like Voldemort from Harry Potter. You don't say his name. The same stars, not too long then. Well, not too long then. Roughly 1,000 years. So he's been gone for a thousand years. That's interesting. I don't know anything about that. But, uh... Looks like he's ready to kick some ass. He's got a nice suit on. I think it's almost time. So he's summoning some power. The veil is thin hair. So... Wouldn't you agree, old friend? Oh shit. Here comes Mothman. See that artwork? Hmm, when artists do sketches on cards at Collecticons and stuff, I have a card with uh, a little sketch like this on the card. That's kind of cool. Uh, tell me what you see, old friend. Tell me the future. And I will do my great work. The man in black whistled a merry tune, and the darkness followed. Oh shit. So the veil that he's referring to, I think it's like... Um, if you watch, like, say, Marvel or whatever, like, whenever they have a kind of like a portal between dimensions and opens up in the sky, it's kind of like that. Oh, shit. So what do we got here? Uh, ooh, Moth, Moth. So there must be the Mothman Festival. Yeah, up here. At 10.06 a.m., August 12th, better known as Mike Waddell's birthday, uh, 2024, a baseball game takes place right outside Point Pleasant, West Virginia. A young boy, Samson Clare, age 8, plays for the Baxter Middle School Mothman. Okay. That's cool. So playing baseball. The boys on Sam's team and the opposing Cumberland Dracos. Oh, the Cumberland Dragons. Are 12 to 14 years old, but Sam and his best friend Adam Ackler, also 8 years old, are talented beyond their years. So it's kind of like a... Connor Bedard or Connor McDavid or Wayne Gretzky, someone like that. Mm, what do we got here? Dracos. So they're playing baseball. Let's see. Through their special connection, Adam senses the inevitable and slows his run to third base. Okay. Boom! Well, I should say slam. <laughs> Whoosh! Away, crash. Okay, so Sam just hit a home run. We need uh, baseball jerseys with the Mothman on it, Metazoo. <clears throat> I'd say this would be a pretty hot item. So the crowd's going wild. Moth, moths. So Team Mothman just won. Adam Ackler and Sam Sinclair are very happy. Giving a high five. Everyone's cheering in the background. Oh, what's happening here? Our help. Okay, that's not good. Ooh, please. Wow, stop. So that's Rose. That's Rose Robinson right there. Oh, Adam Ackler smiling. Or sorry, that's not Adam Ackler. That's Injured Cold, the bad guy. Mr. Burgens, the local librarian, spent his weekends making chili dogs for the Mothman baseball games. Oh, yeah, so he's chilling. He's having a hot dog. Oh, shit. When his aura released, it caused him to rapidly age. It looks like he got shot in the head like Terminator. Okay, well that's not good. What do we got going on down here? 
Drake Dillon, who loved nothing more than to play catch with his father since he was a young boy, watched as his parents burst from the inside. Holy moly, that's not good. So, I guess uh, evil is coming. Uh, this guy's cleaning up some trash. Playing with uh, Pidgeotto from Pokemon. I guess he got one. Get your Pokeball out. Um, Chris Gold. Oh no, Chris Gold. So that's Chris Gold. He didn't last long. Who worked as a custodian and took care of his... Oh, he's taking care of sick birds. Whenever he could afford to. Had so much aura pouring out of him that his eyes liquefied. So he's turning into Cyclops. Holy moly. I hope his head doesn't blow up though. Let's see here. As for poor Sam and Adam Ackler, they're turning into Care Bears. They're about to do the Care Bears there. <laughs> Holy moly. This guy's turning into a rainbow. Hey, it's Argos, Lizard Man. Well, that might be a uh, Dragon of Ocon, or not, um, Cumberland Dragon, maybe. This guy up here blew up. So that might be the Caretaker. What's his name? Chris Gold? Cool name, but it didn't help him much. He just blew up, and these two people are trying to sneak out of the stadium. <laughs> They're like, uh, we gotta go. So what's going on here? Oh, they gave a high five, and the shock waves from the high five blew that guy up. Oh no, was this guy in the previous picture? Hold up. Oh, this guy too, I didn't notice him. So he's toast. Holy moly, okay, so all hell's breaking loose. Uh, we got... Maybe this is the Dark Mothman and the Light Mothman? Or maybe there's just Mothman coming in. Holy moly. Okay, so... At 10.09 a.m. August 12th. Let's uh, go down a little. 2024, August 12th is Mike Waddell's birthday, the guy that created MetaZoo. Uh, the veil separating magic and mystical creatures from our world shattered. Okay, so the dimensions are, you know, yeah, it's kind of like when Loki was trying to bring all the bad guys to Earth Realm and they were making that portal. That's kind of what's happening here. So, Earth is in trouble. Only one in ten people have successfully unlocked their powers, and of those, even fewer survive. So, 10% people got powers, but then. Even some people with the powers died as well, so that's not good. Uh, the world as we knew it was thrown into chaos, and chaos reigned, for a while at least. The biggest change though, why it was the emergence of none other than... Oh, here we go. Beasties, hence MetaZoo. Hey, it's Snipe. That's pretty sweet. Who is this dude? I'm not sure. I don't know who this is. I'm pretty familiar with the other beasties. I won't go into it because anyone that's watching this for the first time, you need to collect the cards and well, look at this. We've got Loveland Frogman right here. I'll mention that one just because that is probably the second most popular beastie in all of MetaZoo besides Mothman. In third place will be Piazza Bird. Four years later, Sam Sinclair is 12 years old. Okay, he's going to school. So things must have normalized a bit. Morning, M. Who's M? M is... Morning. So, he's going to school. M's making breakfast. What does it say here? He's making cookies. Oh, maybe for later, for when Sam gets home from school. I doubt he's making cookies for breakfast because they're not even made yet. And what's happening at the sink? It looks like there's some magic stuff happening here. Where the dishes are washing themselves. Yeah. M. M was Sam and Adam's adoptive parent. He appeared mis mysteriously a few days after the veil had shattered and helped restore order to the town of Point Pleasant with his impressive abilities. Oh, okay. I never heard of M before. At least I don't think so. Uh, fashion sense. So, this is what uh, M's profile. Name M, short for? We do not know. Uh, age unknown, but super old. Looks like a cool dude, though. Eye color, ash gray. Okay. Trousers wrinkled. 
because he's a dude. M, you really gotta learn how to cook. The heck is this? <laughs> yeah, what is that? Let's zoom in. Who's he eating? Is that like a... Yeah, what the heck is that? These looks like limbs, like these are like arms and legs, or maybe it's a tree, and these are just branches. I wonder what that is. Doesn't, yeah, I agree, that doesn't look good. It's breakfast. Unless that's cookie dough, I don't know. Uh, it's breakfast. I'll have you know that back in the day, I cooked for all sorts of royalty and they, and then Sam doesn't give a crap because he's almost a teenager. Okay, ciao. <laughs> He's like, whatever. Peace out, Em. I'm going to school. Let's see. Em's love for Sam and Adam was as strong as his magical abilities, which were as sloppy as they were strong. So obviously, he does not how to clean. Does not know how to clean dishes with magic. Okay, we get a little farther down. Sam's going to school. Sam is off to school. Every day on his way to school, Sam passed the flyers posted on Mrs. Chappelle's fence. Okay, so he's got something to read going to school. And he collects them, okay. So he's at school. Now they're chilling. As I was saying, a spell book isn't strictly necessary to cast a spell. Willpower for simpler casting is all that's necessary. This looks like a jackalope. Looks like a bunny rabbit. So they're doing a spell on the jackalope? Let's see here. Oh! Boost. Uh, boost. Beastie codenamed jackalope. Okay, so I was right. So Adam Ackler doing a spell. Adam Ackler is 12 years old. He is casting. His casting ability already far surpasses many adult casters. Okay, cool, cool. That's all for today, everyone. So he's doing like a little show and tell there. Showing off his ability. So the jackalope runs away. Oh, he popped the tire. Okay, well, that's not cool. Uh, don't look at me like that, Sam. So Sam's not too impressed. Why do you think I'm... Oh. The massacre created by magic that killed both of our families. Why do you think I'm learning this stuff? How else are we going to stop? Okay, so he's learning the magic. So maybe Sam is pissed off at Adam because he's using the magic that destroyed their families. But Adam's learning the magic so that, you know, they can stop the evil. Hmm. So that's why they got a little conflict between each other, I'm guessing. So Adam and Adam are 12 years old and they have arrived at childhood's end. I believe that's a card that you can collect in Metazoo Tops Chrome. Or Metazoo Tops. That's interesting. So, okay, so he's aging a little here. Sam Sinclair is 13 years old. The world didn't end, it only changed. Hey, he's got a Hodag hat on. Sam Sinclair is 14 years old. And Unity City has been officially founded. Okay. Sam Sinclair is 15 years old. He's taken to using his cryptic cam to capture the images of cryptids around Point Pleasant. Okay, so cryptid cam cards are in MetaZoo Tops Chrome. And first sighting cards are in MetaZoo Tops, but those are very hard to pull. That's cool, so he's like, uh, doing like Pokemon Go. For anyone that doesn't know MetaZoo, it'd be like the same similar thing. Sam Sinclair is 16 years old, and his morning bull, oh no, and his morning bullies make their on-time appearance. So Sam is getting bullied like every kid, or most kids, which sucks, but it makes you a better person when you grow up. It makes you stronger. So let's see, Sam Sinclair is going to get asked if they have a promo card this past year of Sam Sinclair with a bloody nose. The bullies, Blake 17, Stefan 18. Is that Blake from Blake's Breaks? Anyways, if you know, you know. Uh, Victor, age 16. So, okay, they're gonna kick <laughs> Sam's ass, so slam. Oh! Beastie codename, River Dino. So, River Dino is beating up Sam. Okay, so these guys are just a bunch of assholes. 
Uh oh, look out, Sam. Haha, -ha, easy, Blake. You're gonna kill the damn kid. <laughs> Holy crap. Tap, tap. Help me understand, Sammy. Why don't you like casting? Uh oh, spellbook's out. Flush, come on, do it. Cast one. Or, sorry, cast one tiny spell for me. Do you even have the juice? About to growl, but not quite. What the, what the hell are you doing, Blake? So something's happening. Uh oh. Sam Sinclair got his ass beat. Adam, oh, Adam shows up in the shadows. Oh, look at this. <laughs> What's going on here, Blake? Oh, crap. Oh, so everyone's scared of Adam Ackler. Dingbat, go. Oh, this Dingbat's gonna get messed up. Fireball. Lightning, lightning whip. So, Hadouken. That's not gonna work out too well. Oh, shit. Something's happening to the bullies. Obviously, because. Oh, look at this. This is badass. I like this. This is like Gohan from uh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z when he's a teenager. He's not worried about the bullies. He just powers up a little bit. Without pulling out a spell book, without even taking his hands out of his pockets. An immense aura surrounded Adam that made the very air vibrate. Okay, so Adam Ackler took care of all this crap, all the bullying. <laughs> that bully, holy moly. <laughs> er, whatever, let's get out of here. Yeah, man, you gotta, something happened to your face. Obviously he's just scared. Adam, what are you doing? Rose Robinson, age 16, Sam. Look at you, you're a mess, here. Oh, cool, so she's gonna heal him. It looks like, yeah, so Rose healed Sam. Thanks, Rose. What are you guys slam? What's the slam? I wonder what happened there. Oh, what's his name showed up, it looks like, maybe. So all three of them are there. Okay, kiddos, bags are packed and we are ready to go. Go, go where? Why? Quimbley's, is that Quimbley's, is that an M? Yeah. Why Quimbley's, of course. What's Quimbley's, is it like Denny's? They're gonna go get something to eat. Just like that, and none of you bothered to tell me? Uh, no time like the present. And speaking of time, look at that. Or look at it, we better get a move on. Yeah, if I'm going to lower the barrier before nightfall. Oh, okay, so and yeah, it controls the barrier between the beastie world and Ah, the youngest students ever admitted to Quimbley's. Oh, okay, Quimbley's is kind of probably like uh, a school for gifted teenagers, like uh, Percep Professor Xavier, you know, the X-Men school. Before Am could explain, before Adam and Rose could say their goodbye, Sam was gone, running faster than he had ever, than he ever had in his life. So Sam ran away. So he does not want to go to Quimbley's school. Hmm. Oh, I remember this scene. I've seen this in a card before. For some of the artwork. He's gonna jump out that window soon, I think. Sam Sinclair is 18 years old. The pain of Adam and Rose's departure still stung, but the days turned into weeks, which turned into months. And in the way only the young can understand, the memories and the pain began to fade. Okay. So some times passed. Sam still kept in touch with Rose through Uncle Sam's Snail Postal Service, U-S-S-P-S. -S. That's cool, Uncle Sam, that's a card. Uh, but Adam only ever wrote to M on paper that would mysteriously disappear the moment it was read, and M kept his secrets. Oh, so Adam Affler does not keep in touch with Sam Sinclair. Oh, look, it's all of Sam's tools. He's gonna put it in his bag probably soon. I know that because I collect the cards. Uh, for the past few nights, for the past few nights though, Sam had been sneaking out of his window to investigate a massive surge in spiritual aura that could not be easily explained. What made the surge all but impossible was, of course, Am's veil. When the first, or sorry, when he first arrived to Point Pleasant, he installed an immense veil that kept the spirits that had emerged with the shattering of the veil at bay. So it's kind of like uh, Doctor Strange. He's able to use his magic to keep all the evil from the other dimensions out. Uh, yeah, so there's a, yeah, see like it's in the sky, right? It's trying to keep, all, keep that dimension closed. 
Other cities were not as lucky. Oh, okay, so that's why they can go to school, because the city they're in is protected by M. Earlier that day, Sam, M, I've been, oh sorry, say, M, <laughs> I've been noticing that there are more spirits. I've been noticing that more spirits seem to be slipping through your veil. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. To help those mourning their loss, sorry, to help those mourning their lost loved ones, M made it so the veil would filter out any recognizable facial features. But still, somehow, some spirits were slipping through. Hmm. Well, it looks like a radio tower. Is it getting weaker? No, it's not that. Hmm. You said your veil was the most powerful one cast on the East Coast. That's interesting they say East Coast because all Metazoo stuff's on the East Coast and the West Coast is waiting for you, Metazoo. Uh, that's right. Then what? Sam, all veils imperfect. Uh, all veils are imperfect in their own way. Okay, so. So not even M knows why the spirits are slipping through. Oh, it sounds packing up to go out for another night. Oh, he's got the bat. This always reminds me of uh, The Walking Dead, you know, with Negan. Oh boy. Is anyone reading this? So it's a radio transmission. That's scary enough, but it isn't nearly as scary as the fact that on this side of the veil, they still don't have faces. So there's Sam jumping out of his window. One, two, and three, testing. Haha, ha. how's it going tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Encryptids, this is Cyril, your lovely and dedicated host, coming to you live from the center of paranormal activity, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. The greatest apologies for the static. It seems the station has its own fresh batch of groupies and groupies outside, mucking with the reception. So there's Sam jumping out of his window onto side of the house now he's walking down the sidewalk well for those that can hear me we've got a lot to cover tonight first up we've got another mothman sighting that's right folks our very own point pleasant mascot and the cause of two of the most horrific events in the city's history in this city's history that ghoul has been sighted seven different times in as many days all over West Virginia oh yeah Sam Sinclair is going to investigate, he's going towards the radio tower. Before that, a quick word from our sponsor, Hodagos. What is this, cereal? A nutritious, all-natural breakfast cereal with real forest greens. That sounds horrible. And what better way to wash down Hodagos than with our second sponsor. What is this? Minnesota? It's like Minnesota. The coolest Bev. Why would you drink a beverage after eating cereal? <laughs> Gross. That's like having a can of like Coke after eating Cheerios. But uh, that's different. And you don't really want uh, Coke and milk to mix together. Pour those two into a cup together, you'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, we got sound here. Boom. Okay, so the radio tower, Mothman is coming out. Okay, whoosh. So all hell's breaking loose. Oh, Mothman is looking at Sam Sinclair. So we're gonna zoom in here. So he's either looking at him or blasting him with his laser beams out of his eyes. So that can't be good. Oh, we got the radio station here. They're chilling. This guy's like, oh shit. I wonder what his name is. Boom. Okay, so their podcast is over. So Sam is being hypnotized, or you just can't believe he's looking at Mothman. Okay, what happened here? I'm falling, falling. When Mothman's gaze turned upon Sam, he fell. And in, in this darkness, he saw a future filled with his greatest fears. Hmm, that looks like M right here. But who are these two people holding hands? Interesting. Boom, falls. Uh, it's on the ground. Sam, you're really not supposed to be all past dusk. We discussed this. Oh, so Am caught him when he's falling. 
Don't look at it, Sam. Look only at me. Clever, they use contracts with spirits to change their energy signature. Enough to slip them past my barrier. That's probably important. They use contracts with spirits to change their energy signature. Enough to slip them past my barrier. Interesting. The crafty devils even envelop them in veil so I couldn't see just how many of them actually slipped in. So quite a few beasties probably slipped in. Tisk, to think someone could have tricked me like this. I've gotten too old. Listen up very closely to me, Sam. I'm going to fix this. It was then that Sam realized that while with a single gaze, Mothman made him fall. M had been holding it in place with his own eyes for the entire conversation. Oh, so M's holding like Mothman in place. What are you talking about, M? Please. I'm so sorry. I won't stay out late anymore. Can we just go home? I don't know, man. Sam, I think you messed up. You poor creature. I recognize whose sigil that belongs to. Okay, so here's M down here with Sam. And then this is from Mothman's perspective. And M recognizes the sigil. So I bet you he's referring to injured cold. Flash! Boom, spellbook time. I will release you, old friend. Oh, crazy. Hey, he's got his pajamas on. But, uh, okay. It's all hell's breaking loose now. Home, let's go. Sammy, listen to me. Sam, you have a good heart and you're going to do amazing things. People in this world need you, so help them, please. Your journey will matter more than you know. And take this old book from me. Oh crap, he's giving his spell book to him. I only need one last spell from it. Ripping the page out. Okay, what's going on here? Slam, goodbye. Oh no, what? <laughs> Well, that's not good. Um. Oh no. So what the hell just happened? So my son, what? Hold up, move back up. Oh, he said goodbye, my son. So is he in the page now? Hmm. Sam falling or did he put Sam into the veil? Oh, and that's it for this week. Chapter one and new chapter next week okay so that was pretty badass hmm comment below what are your thoughts so we slammed him with the book we took the page out and say goodbye or like in, like did Sam get put into a different dimension or did M go into a different dimension with that page he ripped out I'm brand new to this, so comment below, let me know what's going on. I'm sure I could just go read chapter 2, I do own a chapter 2, but I'm going to wait for the manga. So, anyways, uh, comment below, let me know what you think. And I'm going to read this out every week, so hopefully you enjoy it. If you don't, I'm going to watch it anyways. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next video.